Okay, so, excuse my voice. Sorry, I'm not the best speaker, but I'll do my best. So, what you want to gonna what you're gonna want to do is, I'm sure you've already installed GGD at this point and contact into Reaper. So what you're gonna want to do is, you're gonna want to create a new track. You just double click over here, and then you can name it. Go ahead and name it Contact. And then you can go to this little effects button, click that, go to add, and a little window will pop up. I usually dock mine to the right, so this is what it looks like here. And then you just go to filter down here, type in contact. Oh, sorry. Type in contact, go to 16 out. Unless you want more than 16 outputs, go to 16, because that's what the best one is in my opinion unless you're not going to do multi out then don't bother just use the regular one for stereo but if you want to use multi out definitely use 16 out all right so now you're going to want to go to your halperin signature pack here and then you just throw in the halperin drums nki and if you don't see that here you're going to want to go to wherever you installed it to and so if, let's say I installed it here GGD Halpern 2.0 I go to that right click that click that go to instruments and then it'll be in the same the same format so you just click the NKI and drop it over okay so this is turned down a little bit make sure that's turned up alright so automatically it loads with all your mapping here and you can change all that if you want I keep it normal because why not alright so first things first is so you click the kick and now you make sure you're in multi out okay always make sure you're in multi out or else it's just not gonna work alright then what you want to gonna you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to create your outputs because down here you probably won't have that you might just have one so down here you just click plus and then to delete existing channels before creating new ones that's what I do just to make sure and then I want six channels because I only I group all of my symbols together because you don't really need to do all that unless you want to you can make however many channels up to 16 as you want so I'm going to do six channels of stereo, that's the number of channels, so that's mono and then that's stereo, and then I'm going to go to OK. Ow. And then you're going to want to go down here, after those are created, you're going to want to go down here and you want to name them. So I'm putting that one kick, snare. Toms, I'll do spots for like, you know, ride and crash, or not crash, um, splash and accent symbols, you know, overhead and room. Okay, once you do that, you go down here and you actually set the channels for them. So you want your kick to be one and two. And then it's going to tell you to save... <clears throat> to make them become effective so you're just gonna do all these and then you'll save so we'll do all these three four five six eight so on and so forth And usually, <clears throat> we got the auxes down here, and they kind of line up with each other. So I never use these auxes. I mean, you might, so you can change where they go. But I just, I personally disconnect them and just use the DAW for all the busing and all that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just disconnect these. And then there you go. And then, what you want to do is, you want to save, obviously, you can go in here, click the little disk guy, save as, 
or save multi as I I do that because then you can name to whatever you want and put it to wherever you want. So now I have Halper and Drums. Let's see. Just one, I guess. Halper and Drums one. Saves. Boom. Now, <clears throat> I want to exit that and then reload it. Okay? The reason I'm doing that is because now when you see the the outputs on each individual fader here you can see what you named it to instead of the st1 st2 so now i can go into my kick and make that kick overhead obviously overhead room room snare <clears throat> snare top yep snare snare overhead yep so usually it'll line up this way but <clears throat> You know, sometimes they're not perfect, so you got to go through and double check that. So those are all good for now. Let's keep going. Symbols, spots. See, I want my ride to be on spots as well. Same with stack and splash. I'm, I may be weird. I don't know. Other people might not do that, but that's just the way I do it. All right. Um, that's all good. So now that that's all set, you want to come up to here. This is what a lot of people don't know about in Reaper. You come up to here, and you go to your 216 out. See, now you only have your your um, your kick going, right? Your, your 1 and 2. But if you come over here, you create all those tracks that you wanted, right? Those 6. Kick. Snare. Toms. Spots. Overhead and rooms <clears throat> didn't you well here let's do this first sorry we'll go here and then you go to add sends and you add sends to all your drum tracks or you can do it individually if you have a bunch of tracks already you can send them individually but since we haven't done that we'll just do send to all tracks boom they all come up perfect now what we want to do is we want to come back to this Make sure you have all your outputs selected. So just keep pressing that until you get up to 12. Because that's how many you have. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boom. Kick, kick. It's all lined up perfectly. Just like a matrix would be. Boom. Now you go back to the in and out of your master track. And then you see the audio. The audio from kick is going 1, 2, but then the audio from the snare is also going to 1, 2, and that's not what we want. We want this to be 3, 4, and so on and so forth. 5, 6, spots 7, 8, overhead. All right. And that should be everything. See? Oh, I messed up there. <laughs> I was like, wait, something's going wrong here. That's what I did. See, you got to make sure you uh, you bust everything correctly and route everything correctly. I mean. <clears throat> See, so now I got overhead and room on everything. Perfect. And then, I don't know if you know this or not. You might be new to Reaper. You hold control. You get your pencil button, and then you just drag a MIDI. Now you got a MIDI event, double click that, boom. Now you got your piano roll, starts on C2. And I use triangles, I think it's easier for my head to see things. I mean, you might just, you know, use the regular one. And how to do that is, you go to view, Piano roll notes, and you can use diamonds, triangles, or rectangles. So, 
this is what it'll look like to you or obviously you can change it and notes as well by pitch I like to do that because then I know which drums are which you can also do velocity is very helpful to know that you're not so fucking loud <laughs> um, how do you do oh yeah Whatever. All right. Thank you.